everyone, this is Miss Anna, and I'm here today to talk about nature prints. So we are outside and there is a lot of nature out here. Uh, we, I went and I walked around and I picked up some different kinds of flowers. I've got these yellow dandelions. I've got some leaves. This leaf's looking a little sad. That's okay though. I've got some more greenery here. Uh, there was a tree that had these really pretty purpley pink blossoms on it this yellow flower here. I might try to just do this one on its own. And what we're going to do is we're going to need a mallet here and some paper basically. So I'm going to first start out I'm going to put my flowers down and my leaves down the way that I want them to go on the paper. So I'm just going to do the dandelions first to see how that goes. Put them in their order. I don't know if you can see our dandelions there, how they're down on our paper. Then I am going to take another sheet of paper right here and put it right on top, just right on top. Make sure that our dandelions are face down so we get the head of the dandelion really well in there. Take my paper, put it down right on top. Take my mallet, and we're gonna go pound, pound, pound it out. You might have to hold your hand firmly on the paper so that the paper does not move. Like I'm already seeing the pattern of the dandelion come through, so I know that I'm hitting in the right area. Try not to hit your hand. Let's see what we have on this side. Oh, it looks very pretty. I've got some prints. You can see the green and the yellow from the dandelion. You can actually even see, this is the uh, leaf actually from the dandelion there. It looked kind of pr pathetic to be honest with you when I put it on the paper. When you're doing the flower printing, you kind of have to do it. If you Some of the leaves and even the dandelions looked a little sad. So you have to kind of work quickly when you're using those particular plants. So then here we have it on this paper. And let's take this off and see what we have underneath. What kind of prints are left? There was nothing there. Okay, but what about right here where our dandelions are? Oh, let's see. Kind of picking away the petals. That looks pretty. There we go. The leaf didn't really show through on this one, but the yellow did and the stems did. So that's pretty nice. Let's do another one, shall we? I've got all these pretty colors here. Let's see. We'll use, I think we should just take some of these flowers off and sprinkle them down on the, the paper. Ooh, feeling some bugs on me right now. Nature, love it. All right, let's see, I've got this, oh, maybe I should do this, and then uh, maybe I just, I was thinking about doing this big flower separately, but I think it might look really pretty with the pink ones down around it, maybe. Sometimes these things turn out better in our heads than they do in real life, so I've got the pink petals around there. Okay, let's get our paper, put it down on top, see what we've got. Oops. All right, so did I, I don't know if you can see this. Hold on, let me hold it up so you get a better, better visual. So there's our pink, pink little petals and our yellow flower. 
So our goal is to try to get some of that pink to transfer along with the flower. So now I'm going to put the piece of paper on top. Remember, it's kind of hard, but you got to try to hold it down. And we're going to try to transfer the image, print the image of the flower and the petal. So that's going to be tough, but let's see what we got. You might want to start first with the big flower head. Remember to hold your paper firmly down. I'm trying to hold it firmly down. I'm not doing a very good job. My paper is moving a smidge. Let's see. I'm not going to move it back. I'm just going to power through and see what happens. Done enough. Let's see. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Let's see. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. So this time the flower stuck to the top piece. Here's the bottom. So we, you see, we got a lot of yellow and the pink to transfer. So let me get some of these blossoms off of here. Ooh, you can see some nice yellows and some nice purples. You can even see the stem that the flower was on. I think this one turned out rather well. Let's see what happens when we move it from here. Let's see. Ooh, our flowers. Ugh. Toss it over the edge there. Hmm, I think both of the prints look pretty nice. This one has a lot of yellow and a lot of purple and some green from the stem. As you can see, some green from the stem. I think that turned out really nice. Let's see, I'm gonna try to use, I'm gonna fold this sheet in half and see what happens if we fold this in half. Let's see what's left. I wanted to do some of the green and the purple, let's see. So if we can get some of the leaf shape in here. So let's see if I can get some of the leaf shape in here. So I'm going to put the leaves down here, spread the leaves nicely out. And what do we want to do? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, we've got some purple fern. Let's see if we can get anything from the purple fern. And here's a nice green leaf right here. So let's see what we can get from these. See if we can get any print at all. So I'm folding that over. So I don't waste paper. And I'm just going to give it some good pounds, trying to be evenly and consistent. Slowly trying to escape. As you, I don't know if you can see this leaf has been trying to escape through the paper. Let's see if we can nail it down. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, you know what? As a matter of fact, that purple fern did transfer rather nicely, didn't it? Ooh, yeah, we got some good. The purple fern actually. I'm surprised. That looks really nice. The green flower, the green petals did turn out okay, but I'm really impressed with the pattern and with the transfer of the purple fern. All right, I did a little bit on, on some fabric. Did not turn out as well as I was hoping, but still got some nice transfer of the color. So one thing you can do is fold it in half. Let's see, I was 
try to working with nature is pretty tough. Uh, lots of there was one bird I think it lost its mom and it was crying and crying and crying the whole time. So let's see. I'm gonna try to cut a heart out of this. So I fold it in half and I cut a half a heart to open it up. Oh, this turned out pretty nice actually. And there's our whole heart using different colors from Plant Life. Looks pretty good, I think. All right. Um, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the lesson and I hope you have the opportunity to play around with this. Uh, it's very fun. We've done this project before in class and you guys have loved to hold the handle. A little hand over hand, mom or dad or a friend at home. Child holds the hammer and you hold right over and you can pound, pound, pound. I think it's, they love hitting things. They love pounding. They love it. So this is a great project for both people to do. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I hope this gives lots of opportunity for conversation. Have a great day. Bye.